the duck there. Continue to play through with the ranger. Going back to floor 19. I've mostly cleared out this room, but it's time to take advantage of the item. So I use the medical chair first. I pass. So now my skills are all boosted. Very helpful. Oh, digital interpreter. This will help me get into... Uh, what should I... I'm actually going to eat the safe meat and the two moldy bread. This will help me get into a tesseract. Well, should I be able to find one? Now I want to think about crafting some items. I think energy backpack is a pretty good choice. And some bypass circuits. There are two labs, so well done. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. Second lab is all the way over there. Ooh. Maybe by the time I get over there, my lockpick will still be boosted with my three moves. That's very real possibility. Was this decrease speed? Can't do that. And I'll be able to get into the weapons locker uh, with a better than average chance. Yes, 92. Very nice. Ah, second shotgun. I mean. <laughs> I, I actually like to keep two shotguns when I can. But this shotgun I've already boosted up with two very powerful bio mods, so... Mm, still... Still, this is acceptable. Let's see, what don't I need? Scent gland, one solitary single scent gland. Probably don't need that. Having two shotguns has the advantage of allowing you to uh, switch between them when you need to. Sometimes you just need a second shotgun because the first one is out of juice, out of rounds. Mm. No sense in like 97% fail. I mean 99% could fail too, but energy backpacks are among the most critical crafts in the game. I once crafted three of these and failed at 99%. That was actually a big problem for my run. Alright, now it's time to keep going back. I should try to use this uh, radiation pod. Yeah, this is worth a bypass circuit to recharge my hyper multi tool. No double charge, though. Floor 19 is cleared. 20. Hmm. It's actually probably a good thing to lure out the last remaining uh, heavy bot on this floor. So I will trigger the alarms. But first, now that I have some health and my armor repaired, I am going to take a look around here. I know I heard something. Is it really worth it? And I, I think the answer is just no. I could farm Hiver too, but I honestly don't usually like to do that. Alright, just gonna lure the Mikose out. Yeah, I really don't like farming Hiver just almost as a matter of principle. It's one of the most effective things you can do though. If you're hunting for chitin or rifle parts or hiver cheese or experience, you can farm hivers. Well, all you do is you I kill the three components of the hiver the queen and then wait no. for it to spawn like about 10 hivers. Not difficult. Me personally, 
I'm just gonna kill the queen. If you just wanna kill the queen, attack this door. Oh, wow. That's gonna wreck my armor, but I kinda need it. Shotgun will work well. And the Hyper Queen will simply explode. He did do a, she did do a ton of damage though, but it's acceptable. This room actually looks pretty good. Unless everything fails, then I look like an idiot. All right. Let's see. Tactical database repaired. Tactics for some Kosei cluster improved. Eh. No, no, no. This should hopefully lure out the last heavy bot. So I will re equip my impact armor. Uh, this is definitely not worth anything except the hyper multi tool on because I can recharge the multi tool here in the charge hub. Three charges, nice. Uh, do I need the creation station? Not really. Security bot mark three. Hmm. Okay, heavy bot is coming. I'm actually gonna rest heal some more. Get as far away from that bot as possible. And the reason is, again, I may need to actually level up heal while fighting the robot. And if I don't need to level up heal, that's also great because I can save my rest heal as an uh, my level up heal as an instant heal for when I desperately need it. All I have are two half nuts, not enough instant healing. I do have this, the Liga Amino drink. It's not instant healing, but it does heal a very noticeable amount over a pretty short period of time. It's not as good as, um, whatchamacallit, the regen patch or the healing cell, but it's, it's still pretty good. Shotguns can't be converted into anything better. Yeah, it's not a recipe ingredient. Still, two shotguns. Awesome. Too bad you can't do a wield like in Dawn of the Dead. Alright, time to fight the heavy bot. As soon as I trigger this, I should be able to lure the heavy bot over. For good measure, I'll just use the shotgun. It's probably going to come from the west. Let's see, where are you? There you are. On the mountain flowing. Laser carbine time. Okay, it wants to do this. I'm perfectly okay with that. Some more laser carbine. Hmm, this robot doesn't seem too accurate up close. That 
Excellent. That heavy bot was really easy to kill. Now I can just overload the stim tower, trigger, and kill more heavy drones. Wow, this Havoc Drone dodged so many, so many melee attacks, it did not want to drop those energy cells for me, but I got it. Close your Fungo Shard. Go ahead, little Arbuda, throw your useless attacks against me. Weapons locker, 74%. It's gonna have to be good enough. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to think about what I wanna keep and what I wanna ditch. I have some of these scale skins in my... even uh, in my... Tesseract well, so I won't need that. And I don't really need... I mean, I still want to keep the second shotgun, at least for a little bit longer. Hmm. What don't I really need? Uh, there's some, like, high-end food that you can craft with this Dembo Jam. You could, it's almost certainly better just to eat it as is, but... It's kind of thinking of uh, you using it to craft some stuff just for fun. Hmm. Energy tap. It's not super rare. I'll just eat two labus berries. Yeah, good choice. Mison rifle. Finally, if I get into another room. Where there are three heavy bots, I can face them all. These Misan rifle is one of the single highest uh, damaging weapons in the game. Only a couple weapons do more damage per hit. Usually you find those in weapons vaults. I'm really surprised it just came from a secure weapons locker. Anyway, hybrid cheese. Ugh. We have so much food. I'm just gonna eat the egg. This could drop a Tarka Fuel Surgery Kit. Okay, Lear Health Medallion. That provides a very, very noticeable amount of healing over time. It's uh, probably the best amulet for the Ranger. I have to have that. Boy, I'm running out of stuff to ditch. You know what? Probably not going to be conv converting many more pistol rounds or any pistol rounds, any shotgun shells. I have lots of shotgun shells. The biggest reason is that I don't have nearly as many bindings, and I want to save every last binding I can for energy backpacks for the Misan Rifle. Misan Rifle, even though it does a lot of damage, not very energy efficient. Aw, no such luck, but I can't complain, not on this level. Come on, Arbuda. More edible roots. No ancient herbs, though. Alright. Took care of those enemies. There are a bunch of cookers on this level. But no Tesseract well yet. Virus is really easy to kill with the spore dagger. Need better armor. <laughs> Lost a scale that time. Light security bot. Just pick off with the laser carbine. Makose clusters together. Aw. They absorbed. My impact armor. Oh, okay. Maintenance master. 
that is really, really scary. Could be another one of those night sabers. I have a Mizan rifle now, though. Okay, that's a Samoladin. It only attacked twice. Those are the least dangerous of the cat enemies. So I'm not too worried. That's a large protean. Again, not very dangerous. It's too slow to be a threat. Come on, kitty. Okay, you're gonna give me a chance to reload. I'll take that. Hmm. So, why is manipulation so great? Well... Show you in just a second. We know there's a cat over here. If I try to round the corner, it'll get the drop on me. If I manipulate... I am the blood in the vein flowing. Hmm. Not able to get a perfect drop on it, but still a pretty good drop. This Mulladin is getting derped out in this room. Very nice. You died. And what a great result. Tarka Fuel Surgery Kit, come on! Uh, Mino Drink, I'll just eat it now. Might as well restore some of my Psy. Cybernetic Brain is generally a crafting ingredient I like to keep around. Just don't have space for it. Still, it's probably a better ingredient than the energy tap. Energy taps aren't, like, they're pretty rare, but they're only used for a couple of things. So I'll probably be able to find another one eventually. So, okay. Hmm, there's a Zool. Do you see that? Zool is... In my opinion, perhaps the most dangerous of the enemies. Mm, it's probably worth at least one laser carbine shot on. Okay. Protean. Save a place for me in hell. Ooh. Razor teeth. That I do want. All right. Come on, Protean. I'm waiting for you to get into the hallway. So when I attack it. Comes easier to oh, jump. Too easy. I'm gonna use the sniper rifle on this small protean. That's its sack. Don't really need primordial soup or exotic proteins. Give my regards to Varpo Nu. This surgery lab has three potential healing stations. Make two X Hero sausages. That used up all my Tarka war bread. Okay. I could actually make five more energy drinks, but.
could also make base pace. I think that will be worth it. I need to get to a Tesseract well anyway. Second shrooms, why not? Didn't even use my tail. Wow. Damage lab. There are labs on the other floors. Uh, Revenant. Ooh, it's a sand stranger. I'll fill this pit with corpses. Ah, oh, Tesseract Well, I see one. I am the particle in the wave flowing. <laughs> After succeeding this repair. Another teleport trap. Okay, the moldy bread I can just pick up and eat. System transponder I don't want. I want the energy tap. I know I heard something here. So I better reload. Could be another one of those cats. this field. I want to avoid that. Does 50 damage per hit? I can survive even 3 hits. Don't know what that sound is, but I'll just use the med bay to heal myself up. I'll be doing oh. this a couple times. Let's see. Uh, should be fine. All right. Kill the hyper queen again. I probably recommend newer players just farm the queens for experience, drops, food, etc. I'm not doing it because. I just don't feel like it. I'll save the electronic toolkit. I usually, I just don't like it. It's kind of grindy, and one of the reasons why I like this game so much is there's, besides farming the Hyper Queens, basically Good. no grinding. Okay, I got myself into the Tesseract well. Beautiful. Look at that. That's what I needed. Tark Fuel Surgery Kit. Um, but besides that, I can store a couple of items. I can hmm, actually store some of my food. I'm gonna store. Let me think. As nice as two shotguns are, I'm gonna store one for now. Clearly, I don't need all these edible roots. I'll need two. Two of the ancient herbs. Two of the fat strips. That'll allow me to make two X um, pit stew. Ah, right. Chitin plate armor. Man, now I really wish I repaired that lab. Store the energy tap. I'm gonna store 50 of my shotgun shells. Um, I have so many in my inventory. Well, actually, I have 150. That's not that many. I'll store 300 of my flashé rounds because, first of all, the mag pistol, not the best use of flashé shots, uh, flashé round shots. I'm gonna store one of the tainted meat. I mean, I'll, I'll keep the steak and shrooms. Store this, this, and this. 
just trying to maximize my inventory as much as possible. I'm even going to put in four of these because I can craft uh, more energy drinks. How's my Bordeaux? Yeah, it has exactly two charges. What I need. I'm very, very desperate for space right now. Eighty-two flashy rounds. That might be a little low. I'll fetch one stack. Okay, looks good. Oh, of course, that's it, Sax. Onward. Purple is item destruction, which is bad. I need to save my bypass circuits. Oh, purple is increased health. Never mind, that's good. What's item destruction then? Hmm. Multi tool, which one? Two gets. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, scorpion. Seems to be injured. All right. Tactic versus revenant improved. Hmm. Revenant doesn't sound like that bad of an enemy. I'm pretty sure there were labs on the previous floor, so I'm not really that worried. I may fail this craft, but I don't. I'm not gonna eat the pit stew just yet. Each is 300 food and will fill me up a good amount. But just keep those in my inventory for when I get hungry. Titan plate armor is going to be a huge craft if I succeed. I may not. Hmm. I think it was one floor up from this. Or maybe this was the floor with the labs. There is a creation station I could use. It's, no, it's not a bad idea. I just need the one craft. I'll use a digital interpreter here. No such luck. Oh. I did get an electronic parts out of it. Oh right, this is this is the area I wanted to avoid. There was some sort of dangerous enemy here, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm going back up one more floor. I think there's a lab there. Yeah. Okay, the chitin plate armor is too important to wait to craft. So I the water on the mountain I'll try to flowing. craft it as fast as possible. Your health medallion is really, really helpful. Oh, there's even a couple items here that I might want to pick up. Chitin plate armor. 85%. That's going to have to do. Oh yeah. I can ditch the flak jacket now. I'm not gonna need it ever. I'll probably be able to ditch the impact armor. Uh just because Kitan plate is such an amazing armor. It's medium armor, as long as I find living steel patches, I'll be able to fix it. It's gonna protect me from all those nasty, nasty robots and cats, and it has 180 durability, so I don't have to worry about it breaking anytime soon. Can be repaired via Living Steel Patch, which is a huge advantage. Living Steel Patches are the most efficient repair in the game. 
So now I'm just gonna go finish clearing floor 21. Uh, not too much left to do. Another cooker I can use. And I'm gonna cook five of these energy drinks. As I had planned. Lost the scale that time. Fireflies are really annoying enemies. cook this raw meat. It may be better to make steak in rooms. Uh, here's an example where I don't even need to use ammunition anymore. Honestly, to kill the moon bear, I can just uh, kill it with... Did I not get my target fuel surgery kit? Oh, that... Oh, man, that's a huge mistake. Well, I'm going to Tesseract well. How could I have, like, not, not gotten it out? That was like the whole point of going to Tesseract Well. Yeah, some of the crafts are nice, but the instant healing is much, much, much nicer. Can't believe I forgot to pick that up. Wow, 75% isn't great. Hmm. Okay, my mistake did not cost me. I'll take my Tarka Fuel Surgery Kit. Store this. Store this. Honestly, I don't even need impact armor anymore. <laughs> Store this. Just because of space, like, it's better just to keep my chitin plate armor equipped 100% of the time. Um, I, I don't even know what to store now. Demo jam. Optics. Um, might as well fetch my shotgun shells back. Could use them. Store the pistol rounds. Looks good. This run at this point should technically be a win. I do have a little bit of margin for error, but at this point with this position, it is almost impossible, I'm not saying completely impossible, but almost impossible for RNG to, uh, to screw me over. If I lose, I would say probably 99% of the time it would be my fault and not the game's fault. Uh, recycler, anything else in here? I guess there's that fruit tree, could be worth it. The things are quick. Oh. Hmm. They hit hard. You successfully reprogrammed the recycler. Beautiful. Wormhole trap. I think I would have to hit like six wormhole traps in a row and or something like that, or get wormholed into a room where I am instantly knocked out and there are three heavy bots or something. That's pretty much the only way I can die. Well, I shouldn't say that. The other possibility is that a floor spawns a lot of the super, super dangerous enemies all in a row. Um, enemies like the uh, big cats, for instance. Too many of those spawn. That can also screw me over just because I don't have enough instant healing. But short of those cases, I can't lose. Gonna berserk the beast virus and let it attack the gigantopithecus for me. Oh. Let's put the 
again. The Pipicus. Very vulnerable to the Spore Dagger. Uh, pungent meat. One great thing about armor is now I can just be more efficient about using my resources. 11 damage from TK Fist is nothing. 10 damage is nothing. Let's see. I... <gasps> Pocket Tesseract? Oh man, what is with the drops on this floor? Pocket Tesseract allows me to carry so many more items. Definitely making an improvised lockpick. Um, now is a good time. I mean, I suppose I could backtrack all the way over there and pick up the uh, second shotgun. But you know what? With my armor, my Misan rifle, all my other stuff, I'll, I'll take the second shotgun out later. I don't need to do it now. Time for pit stew. Plus one power. Very nice. Alright, well, this is a great time to pause. What a great couple of floors. Floor 21 was so scary at first. And then floor 20 was so scary, but it's all been worth it in the end after clearing these three floors and getting through that very, very tough stretch of the game. Um, now the rest is, I wouldn't say a complete mop up. Things could still get interesting, but. It's at a position where I should not lose if I play even remotely competently. Anyway, thank you for watching.